So guys, we have a new background. Hello, welcome to All Things Doc 2. I am Aaron and today I've officially moved in properly to my new place. Everything is settled. As can tell, the target books have been moved there, the DVDs have been placed, the signed pictures have been actually put up, the TARDISes, big finishes done, picture right there, and I've even got a bookcase right in front of me where a camera can't actually put it in. But I will show that now. As you can tell, guys, it looks absolutely Fantastic. But I suppose today I'd just like to talk about a few updates for a collection. As I went to Blackpool a few days ago, I picked up a few things. I picked up a few things not long ago and also today, and they are really cool. Some of them Doctor Who related, and one of them is not Doctor Who related, but uh, I'll do that one first. This right here, now as you can tell, this is a Spider Man head, and not just any Spider Man head, a Light up illuminate one. I found it for £10 in HMV and what can I say, I'm a fanboy for Marvel, I collect the comics um, as well as love the movies so I had to buy this. But let's show you what it really does. So as you can tell this looks absolutely awesome, I have no idea how long the batteries last but the design of it looks awesome even without the light upon and the fact that it changes colour it just makes it even more cooler and it's perfect for a Marvel fan. Now let's move on to the Doctor Who related items. Of course this is all things Doctor Who, not all things DC or all things Marvel, maybe in the future but for now on let's talk about Doctor Who. Destiny of the Daleks. Now this is the DVD release and obviously I have this with the Davos collection but since I'm such a completionist I realised I need it as a single release just to put in between the stories that really matter. Obviously I'm keeping Davos collection as it's such a cool collection and you know collected piece but personally I love the artwork to this it looks fantastic and the Daleks look really cool and personally I really enjoy this story. This is my next release. Now, this is the Damien's, and what can I say? A brilliant story. I adore this story. One of my favourite Pertwee's, my second favourite, I have to say, um, along with Spearhead from Space, and one of my favourite Master stories. Now, the reason I brought this is because I had the DVD Files version that looks like this. As you can tell, it looks a lot better than the DVD Files version. Don't get me wrong, I got it for £1.50. A long time ago in a charity shop, it was brand new. How could I resist? I was still collecting stories and it was a perfect offer. But for now on, I think this version on the left for the, the official BBC release looks a lot better. And for book releases, we have Doctor Who Dead of Winter. Now I picked this up for Nardis and Pets in the charity shop today. And I'm so happy I did because I absolutely love collecting my books. Um, as you can tell, that is the Siren from the Curse of a Black Spot. We're holding the 11th Doctor Sonic Screwdriver and I particularly love the background creatures right there as it looks very creepy. And as you can tell it's got Matt Smith right there, Karen Gillan and Arthur Darville as Rory. If you'd like a better look at what this story is about then just pause this video right here. This is the other book I ordered and got very recently. Obviously it's a brand new release of the Doctor Who Mr. Men series now this is Doctor Second and if you know anything about my channel the second Doctor is my ultimate favourite he is the best Doctor in my personal opinion and having this is brilliant it really is as you can tell this it has Victoria and Jamie as companions and it also stars the Yetis which I can personally understand because at the second Doctor's era they are the actual enemies that people normally refer to personally with these Mr. Men Doctor Who books I love the artwork I love the crossover and it's just one of the best ideas Doctor Who books have done in a long time. And last but not least, the last book I have in my collection for a newest update is Doctor Who The King's Demons. Now I ordered this a week ago and it's only just came but you know what it's worth it because the book is in absolutely fantastic condition. I love the front cover it has chameleon um, then it has the whole background castle scene with the two warriors shas knights on the front. What can I say, as a story altogether, I love The King's Demons. I think it's such an underrated story. The Master and the Doctor are awesome and I cannot wait to read this. 
If you'd like to read the blurb, then pause this video right here. So guys, that is my newest collection update of books slash DVDs. I really hope you enjoyed it. Now my next video I'll be putting out will be how old is this second Doctor and maybe the third Doctor just to make the series go a little bit faster for you. I'm All Things Doctor Who. Thank you so much for waiting for this new video. I apologise for the wait. It's been a hectic move. Stuff has finally been put together. I've been given my ad. It's all done. So let's get some videos done. So guys, I will see you later. See ya.